God bless you, uh, social media. I was just reflecting on something that I learned from someone else very early in my latest career. Uh, probably in the first two to three months of uh, what I'm doing now, I asked a gentleman named uh, Edgar Miller, what's the secret to greatness in this business and he turned around to me and he said something very quickly and very angrily because he was busy that day he said you gotta be patient and I thought that he had been rude I thought he had been crass with me I thought that he didn't give me the benefit of the doubt but what I found out was Edgar Miller was brilliant because if you want to be great in any business you gotta be patient I know for here I am coming into a brand new industry, trying to look at a guy that had done what he had done for 30, 40 years. And when I'm asking him what's the secret, it's as if I'm asking for a shortcut. It's as if I'm asking for uh, give me, give me uh, uh, some hocus pocus, give me some magic pill to reach success in business. But folks, generally in business, you will find out that success comes with playing the long game. You don't become a great in business in the business world overnight. You don't start today and next week you're a business guru. It just doesn't happen like that. You got to do things through trial and error. You got to sow some to, to reap some. And sometimes you'll sow well and sometimes you won't. But generally... Patience isn't only a virtue in business. Patience has to be the building block of your business. You won't build Rome overnight. Things, greatness doesn't come on the low. You're gonna, it's going to take time. It's going to take effort. Uh, you know, it's, you know, uh, patience has to be your, uh, you, if you ask any of the greats in business, you ask any of them. Ask anybody that is great in business right now, if you can interview them one-on-one, -on -one, and I guarantee you those that are at the top in the business world, each one of them would highlight the importance of patience in their business. Uh, Edgar Miller uh, uh, doesn't win every uh, business battle that he's in, but I promise you his name is mentioned and he's in the conversation whether they get the whether he gets the business or not, whether someone succeeds or not, his name is always mentioned and that comes by virtue of being a, a bit working in a field in a craft to the best of his ability for 30 to 40 years. That works uh, that works with him being loyal to his craft while others are sleeping, he's up driving. While others are sleeping, he's up uh, uh, doing other things. But patience had to be part of his rise upward. Folks, if you want to be great in business, it don't come overnight. You, I mean, you look everyone business to business and you'll see the greats in the industry. Every now and then you'll have, uh, I spent years in the car business. And every now and then we would have what we would call a 30-day wonder. A guy that gets in the business or a lady, you know, that comes in and sells 35 cars uh, for two to three months in a row. In their first two to three months, so all of a sudden they become geniuses overnight. And, and they lose the excitement. They think they got it made. And then their numbers constantly dwindle. And then over time, they're gone. Folks, I've had people that, that get off to amazing starts that have worked with me in business. But my business was built over time. It takes patience. It takes blood. It takes sweat. It takes tears. It takes staying up some long nights. It means getting there early. It means staying late. It means sometimes going the extra mile. But folks, patience has to be a part of your business. If you don't learn, I was mad because he just turned around at me and he said, boy, you got to be patient. And I thought he was mean, but he had given me the secret to business success. Uh, because if you want to be great, I don't care what your craft is. It won't be done overnight. If you want to be great, it's going to take time. 
if you want to be great, it's going to take some efforts. It's, it's, if you want to be great, you're going to have to learn some business lessons, and many business lessons are learned through losses. Uh, many uh, business lessons are learned through setbacks. Many business lessons are learned when you don't get the contract. Many business lessons are learned when you do get the contract uh, <laughs> to your disadvantage. So I'm speaking a word to you, and I'm thanking Ed Gamilla on today. I, I salute you, my brother. I'm sure y'all grinded even on uh, Labor Day. But I'm telling you, any of you all out there under the sound of my voice, if you want to be in, great in business, patience can't only be a virtue. Patience has to be the building block of your dentistry. Patience has to build the blocks of your graphic design business. Uh, Patience has to be the building blocks of your ministry. You won't get G.E. Patterson results overnight. And if you do get G.E. Patterson results overnight and you haven't learned patience, you're going to destroy what the Lord has blessed you with. So, folks, it takes time and it takes patience. If you want to be great in anything that you do, patience can only be a virtue. Patience has to be the building block of your business. Thank you, Mr. Edgar Miller. I appreciate the lesson you gave me. I thought you were being cold with me and when you say, you got to be patient. But folks, if you want to be good in business, you got to learn patience. Be blessed.